welcome back everyone uh, in my last video I showed you all about how you can uh, use the scene type hotspot and in my previous video I showed you how you can use an info type hotspot now in this video I'll show you how you can use custom hotspot icons uh, you know rather than using this information bubble or this arrow to represent your hotspots uh, you can actually use custom hotspot icons now there are two ways to do that one you can use uh, the custom icons provided by our plugin which are font awesome icons or you can use your very own icon using a custom CSS icon class now in this video I'll show you how to use both of them so that you can use it whichever you find comfortable all right so uh, first let me show you how you can use the font awesome icons uh, every hotspot you go to you'll see there's this section right here that says hotspot custom icon if you click on this you'll see there is a list of all font awesome icons okay so you can look for it there is over 900 font awesome icons here to choose from whichever you find appropriate you can use it as the hotspot icons so my first hotspot is basically this one so let's say for this one uh, let me just use just this one all right so now I can customize the color of the hotspot uh, icons so let's say I'll use a blue color right here there you go now the thing is for hotspot icons you cannot uh, preview it in the back end the only way to see how the hotspot looks is in the front end when you uh, place the tour on a website but to do that you need to publish the tour and embed it on a page right but I didn't show you how you can embed a virtual tour on a page right well don't worry in my very next video I'll show you how you can embed a, a published virtual tour on your website so for now let me just publish this tour and I'll embed this on a website to see how this hotspot icon looks like so there you go this uh, tour has been published now I'll just go to a new page I've already opened a new page in a new tab uh, earlier uh, now I'll just use the WPVR block from Gutenberg and I'll select the tour I just created uh, I named it demo so that will be in the same name in the list and let me just preview this there you go now in this tour that's my first hotspot icon and I used the font awesome icons and I assigned a color right now you can see there is a ripple effect happening on the icon well that's basically an animation function from within the plugin uh, let's say if I go back to the hotspot for the first scene uh, you can see there's this option hotspot animation you can turn it off if you want to uh, right now this is the only animation we included the ripple effect uh, we probably will work on adding more animation in the future now what if you want to use some icon uh, other than the font or some icons basically your very own uh, icon how will you do that well uh, let me just show you how you can do that there's this option called hotspot custom icon class this allows you to customize the hotspot with an image instead of the icon it has all right so we have a code snippet for it uh, I'll be providing that in the description so that you can copy it and just use it but let me just show you how it works all right so I have the code snippet for that written right over here uh, this is a CSS class that I created uh, under which I'm using this image let's say I want this image to appear uh, as the custom icon all right so what I need to do is I need to copy this and uh, I need to go to appearance and customize And here I need to go to additional CSS and I just need to paste that uh, code snippet here with the icon all right so I'll just publish it and you can see I named the class as custom icon so I'll just copy the class and I'll go back to my virtual tour and let's say I want it on the second hotspot uh, which is giving me the fireplace GIF right here all right so I'll just input the class name right there right now again any customization of hotspot they're only visible in the front end so I need to update this tour after I've included that 
and once the tour is updated i can just uh, go to the page where i had the tour embedded let me just preview it and on the tour you can see the icon has changed this is the custom icon i used uh, so it has replaced the icon that was already there so that's just it that's how you customize a hotspot icon now in my next video i'll show you how you can embed your virtual tour so see you in the next video